You here? You here? So Tanya here, wallpaper change, second day. We just talked about the little guys. Now let's talk about the big guys, right? So they're all off right now, completely turned off. You're storing them. Let's turn them on, and I'm gonna try not to bash them together since I don't own some of these. Let's see, I could do this. Hold those volume buttons together, that'll turn those on. And then this is that side and here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Zeos knows exactly how to be a professional. Okay. One, two. Now the Fios are turning on, right? Right? I may have ruined this one. This one didn't get the press hard enough. We'll just wait. All right, Quest Isle is up and running. Because the Quest Isle is not running Android. Pioneer is running Android. This is running Android, and this is running Android. When we were on this side, only that one, only the M7 was running Android. So, uh, uh, this is up. Uh, that's an actual Android home screen with a Google search. And I started this much later, so we're gonna give that a little extra time. I'm sure people are doing optimizing apps. Don't do that, that's ruining the whole thing. Okay, price points. Can we talk price points on this side? I didn't actually talk prices yesterday, I'm sorry. But just assume everything here is under 300, even less in some cases. Like I think it's like 160 or something. This is $900. This is $650, so I'm actually gonna put it there. This is $360, and that's going to make you shit your pants, because I may buy one because it's so good. And then this one is unreleased, and I'm not 100% sure of the price, I think it'll be around $300. So let's start. We ended on the M7, this is the M9. This is the next revision of this one. So it's again, it's in its beautiful uh, clear case. I would highly recommend you just leave it in the rubber all the time. Every, every girl will tell you they love it in the rubber all the time. No, I don't want to shut down. No, 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 undo. I just want to take it out. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, and I'm going to throw it on the floor. It's fine. God, it feels so good in the hand. It does. When you could feel the metal and it's not in this, even though this is perfectly form fit. And for some reason, textured on the inside. <sighs> what do you got? Okay. You got my fingerprints on the screen. The exact same screen, like the menu and everything is identical as the M7. You get nothing on top, so instead of having the gronked fucking power and thing, they've fixed that. This is the fixed version. Things I'm complaining about there are fixed here. So nothing on top, nothing on the right, and on the bottom is where you go all the fun stuff. So you get your USB-C connection, you get the 25 millimeter balanced, and you get the 35 millimeter headphone out slash line or coaxial out, so you can actually coaxial out to this. Here's your SD card, here's your rocker for next and last track, your play pause, and your volume uh, roller, and then the power button, all squeezed on one side. Thank you. Remember how I said you can't, like, look at that, how much easier that is than trying to reach to the fucking top and dig around for that. So, um, unlike this one, you can actually just do pull down gestures to actually adjust screen brightness and to get to actual high low gain filter settings. These are all custom things in Android. Uh, it's connected to my Wi-Fi. I've read the forums and apparently you can put Spotify on this because it comes with the FIA Music app, file management, gallery, technical support settings, KK box. Again, has some Asian stuff on here. Then you scroll up and there's title. NetEase Music and Move. I don't know, we've never heard of any of these. Have you heard of any of these? I've never heard of any of these. And the only thing I can't figure out is how to actually get Spotify on this. I might have to download an APK and put it on the card because there's no access seemingly to the Play Store, even though I am signed into my Wi-Fi and it is getting updates. So, I mean, the gallery has, please no dick pics, please no dick pics, please no dick pics. There's all my wallpapers, Amber Rubarth, my science project, Run the Jewels. Um, again, there's still no back, forward, home buttons. So you're doing that, you're either hitting home or you're going into the app and you're scrolling. I'll open the FIA Music app. One of them is Switch. I think this, yeah, scrolling up on the right takes you and brings you back home and scrolling up on the left, well, apparently does the same thing on this app. But it's the exact same as that, except, where is it? Boom, replay gain, I knew I saw it. So the seven, 
is just the outdated model. This is a much nicer feel to it as far as like, I mean, I guess I don't mind the narrowness of this. This is a narrower unit. Actually, what am I saying? That is so, it's like three sixteenths of an inch or four millimeters, but it's got a nice rounded edge instead of the square. I mean, this, this edge sort of hits you in the hand a little bit. I mean, that's like the most minor complaint ever for a portable device. Settings, a little bit better settings. Replay gain settings, USB output modes from DOP or the D2P. You got a hardware seller, HWA Bluetooth. Don't know, Wi-Fi song transfers, TLNA. This has the newest suite of shit going on. Sweet shit. Go to all songs, you can drag down the, hold on. Why can I not, there you go. There's your letters, you can pick the letters. Panther like Panther, let's plug in some headphones. Uh, I'm gonna be testing with the ESSs. I should be testing with balanced, actually. Because this has balanced, this has balanced, this has balanced, and this has balanced. All of these have balanced outputs and none of these had balanced outputs. So that's just, that's just the way life goes, man. Automatically, this sounds better than the 7, noticeably. Now, granted, these are different headphones than I tried yesterday, but I've been using them, so shut up. So, sound quality winner of the small group, Extro. Starting right off the bat, this sounds better, or at least as good as the Extro, and gives you balanced output. So, let's see, back to this. Uh, the same awesome feature where this they actually the Fio doesn't have it I don't know if the M7 has it if I do please correct me in the comments but I'm pretty sure I was never able to do it where I could take my phone I can connect my phone to this and then use this as a portable Bluetooth DAC amp which for $300 that's $50 less than the Q5 which is just a Bluetooth DAC amp add-on and it's an entire fucking player on top of that. And it's not quite as powerful as the Q5, but it's a balanced portable headphone act damp. It's, it's act damp. I said act damp, didn't I? I like this thing a lot. I got banana dick. Your bitch go ape shit for this dick. Or what is it? I don't know. Some run the jewels, greatest lyrics ever. So now, I complained about the Fio's volume. So guess what? It's exactly the same. Only look, I'm changing it without it popping up that menu. So I think you get like one little instance of it and then it's weird. It doesn't, you're gonna do basically the same thing. You're gonna turn it once and then you're gonna adjust it with your thumb. Because it's 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 not as good as the bass plays front. Look how many clicks I can get out of one thumb scroll. Where again, you're just forced to be a lefty if you want to get a lot of clicks. And even then, I'm gonna ready. I'm gonna do a full thumb scroll from. I'll go to and there. It's not bringing up the thing again. Android, how you like it? So it's at sixty. One full thumb was eight percent change. That means you're still doing this to get it up because it doesn't go zero to 100. This goes zero to 120. Let's get out of that. You should just be able to click off of it and get back. You drag back, you drag forth, you drag lyrics. Let's see, what's that? Let's go back to the home. Now, you could sleep it, you could play pause, you could next track or last track. Buttons work nice and flawless. Leave it in the rubber case, it's slippery. It feels so good, but it's slippery. That's what she said, a giggity. All right, next track, easy to find in your pocket. You keep everything on this side, if it's down, this is why I, I, I use things. Headphone down, means it goes in my pocket upside down. That means it's in my pocket like that. That means my thumb can access, you don't wanna do the, play, the power button because that just turns on the screen. You can adjust the volume, you just have to like, I'm still lowering it. And now it's muted. I hear it. It's not loud yet. It's not loud yet. Now it's loud. That's how long it takes to scroll from muted to, to loud. So let's 
pause that for a second. Pause is nice and delineated. You can feel its pause. It sticks up a little bit further, I think, than the last and last track button. Yes. Uh, this is going to be a huge hit as far as portables go. Get out of that thing. Oh, there is one thing. When you leave it locked, you get a full screen of the album art, and then you get the controls on the lock screen. So you can control the whole player, basically, through the lock screen. Mob Psycho. And it looks better while locked than it does unlocked. There it is. There's the music player. And you unlock it, and it looks like that. So, I mean, you get a little more access this way, but I actually just prefer leaving it locked, hitting the unlock, and then leaving it like this to do any um, navigation. You could even favorite from here. And sound quality takes a big bump up from this side of the table. So for maybe that, that's, that's, that's encroaching. This is encroaching on the sound quality of the higher end units. Now, I kind of want to save the Pioneer for last, so I will. And let's move on to the big Fia. Now, I've had this for a year, and I apologize to Fio people if you're watching. You sent me this. I used it. I brought it to Can Jam the first year. Like, like, it's been here forever. It'll be in a yard sale coming up. If you don't know what the yard sales are, uh, my Patreon, which is linked in the description in the upper right, when I don't need something after I've had it and after I've reviewed it, I sell it. To you guys for whatever you want to bid oh that's a nice player i'll give you 28 dollars 41 because you got to use an uneven number and if you're the highest bidder i will ship it to you for free in the continental united states and then i will ship it international if you pay half the shipping the problem with this is look at it ready i'm going to turn this on this has been months coming this fucking review come on Home. Home. There we go. So I got Plus Messenger on here. And I've got the Fio Music app, which is a little bit outdated. This is a very slow... An These Android devices here. Well, no. This one and this one. These two Fios are like a lightweight, cut-down, really athletic version of Android. This one doesn't have the, quite the hardware to run it good. And this one does. So that one's brand... This is the newest one on this table. Boom! This one... Here's the Fio. I reviewed the, the uh, X5, and I liked it. This will also be in a yard sale at some point. I may not put it in this one or the next one, but it'll show up. And I liked it, but I'm like, who's going to spend this sort of money on a portable player? That's Android, and it's slow. This works slightly faster, slightly faster than the 5. And if you, you, you know... It's full fuck Android. It's pull down. You've got updates that need approval. Update all. Here we go. Let's go to the thing. You're just basically... My, my problem with that was, and my problem with this one will be, do you really need two phones? Because here's my phone. Here's my big ass phone. Big ass phone. It's an ass phone. Big ass phone. And I have to babysit it. i got to make sure the batteries are charged. i got to make sure the Wi-Fi works. And when you take one of these out and about... You basically, I'm accepting all these, accept, yeah, run it, baby, run it all. You basically are taking out another Android phone, only it's, I mean, I got the battery pack on this, and this is still thicker. It's a, I mean, look, I could say, look at this hewn piece of metal and the quality, at least it's not a Sony, where it's just, it is an amazingly well machined piece of metal with here's the, the Bluetooth window and then the bottom just like the Q5 has the interchangeable amplifiers you can go from the AM3 to the AM5 which has got more power but doesn't have balance I'm gonna put that there for a second the problem is it's six it's six hundred and fifty dollars and I can't think of a reason to get this regardless of the two SD card slots by the way because uh, one, everything on the table so far has had one SD card slot. And then this one and the Pioneer have two. Actually, does the 5 also have two? The 5 also has two. So you get it, you run it, and then you're like, okay, I'm going to run FUBAR. I love FUBAR over the other apps. I don't know if you can get FUBAR on this. They'd have to whitelist it. Put it on. Hit play. It loads. It's, it's playing. 
It's got the, it's got, it's got even worse. Well, here's the thing. Because I'm not using the Fio app and I'm using FUBAR, now if I scroll the volume, it scrolls Android's volume. So I get just a very low resolution, like thumb drag. You do get the next track, last track, get out of there. Sometimes the next track and last track buttons don't work on extra apps, like right now. I can't pause either. Wonderful. It usually works, but just not right now. Let's close that app. Fio Music is running. Maybe because Fio Music is running. That's what it was. It was running the FUBAR app and the Fio Music app, so of course those didn't work. Let's try this now. Nope, still not working. Let's look around the unit at least. Play pause, volume slider, again, it's it's it, it's it. Nothing is the bass play. Even here would be okay with the little bass play wheel. You got the slider for next and last track. Here's a screw to take out the bottom amp module. Here's your two US uh, SD card slots. Power button on top. Again, I mean, it's just it's just the, the awkwardness to on and off the screen from there. Whatever. They fixed it in the M9, so I'm not going to complain too much. Your lock screen gets that. It's not even pretty like this one is. Oh, shut off because it's Android. I don't have the settings tweaked. Can I get an extract? No? I turn on the screen? Hold on. There we go. Okay. Unlock. At least you get the back, home, and uh, swap buttons. So I close that. We're back to the home screen. I have Plus Messenger on here. You can go to the App Store. You can go to Settings. Uh, it's doing download, so it's going to be freaked out for about for a while. Same settings like the M9 Bluetooth that does not connect to your phone. At least to I, to my knowledge, I don't think Bluetooth is now on. More settings. Where's my fizzy? Unlock fizzy. Bluetooth is active on that. So I can hook up to the Q5, that would be interesting. The Shanling M0. Yeah, I don't think it'll work. What the hell is the hands free link? It doesn't hook up, it doesn't need to. The only, it has Bluetooth, it has Wi-Fi. You can install Spotify, you can install FUBAR. It's an Android phone. But why the fuck would you spend $650 on this? when this exists, is as powerful and clean as this, and will Bluetooth to your phone, which you already own. So this is a $300 savings, just by this. This won the Bluetooth shootout, and it's the exact same size and shape. Actually, I'm sorry, it's slightly smaller. You get an external bass boost, you get an external high-low gain, you get Optical and coax on line in. You get a line out on top. You get the headphone out or balance out on bottom or the AM5 module, which is this thing, which I am going to install on this, by the way, because apparently this is a much higher outputting uh, headphone amp, just straight up headphone amp module with a high res audio sticker. So then I'll have two high res audio stickers, which is exactly what I fucking need. The X7 doesn't need to exist because the Q5 exists and Bluetooth is good enough. Aptex Bluetooth is good enough. You don't need to have the data directly on here to go through the DAC directly. If I'm going portable, and this is just me, but I'm pretty sure I can influence quite a number of people to not worry about having, you know, I need 27,000 bit DSD while I'm on the bus or on the train or walking around in public where there's taxis beeping. There's very, very little time where I am like, you know what? I wish this wasn't FLAC, 64, FLAC 4, 1644. I wish it was FLAC 24192. Never. Fucking never happens. You do not need this. It is a very heavy phone that you have to carry around next to your other very heavy phone. And then this one gets plugged in and this, one does, and this one's battery is just, just eats it. Fucking eats it. Look, it sounds very good. It does sound very good. This sounds as good. And you can plug this in USB if you wanted to be anal about it and you wanted to do that 
well, you're going to carry them both anyway. You can hook one to the other, and this latches your amp deck, and you'll get every single bit, and you won't have to go over all the nasty, dirty Bluetooth connection. The X7 does need to exist. Hell, the X5 and X7 do not need to exist because the Q5 exists. And now, these don't need to exist because the Q5 exists and the M9 exists. Which is like, the ch these now, these, this one, is so close in price to this one. And this one, I just like this one better. It's faster, it's more efficient, it just is. They're Android, so it's still slow as fuck. But they work. And then this thing is like, my baby. The Quest Style. Now, this is the most expensive one on the table. And Quest Style, I love Quest Style gear. If you don't know, I fucking love Quest Style gear. They're always so well built and so well made. And oh my god, you know, just for simplicity's sake, you turn that knob and you get your music. And that carries over into this, which is called... Hold on. I have to get the... Uh, there's a, I'll get the name from internally. Oh, did it shut off? It shut off. Turning it back on. It says current mode amplification, by the way, which is the same technology they use in all their amps. And it's their whole, like, well, we use current mode amplification. And you go, cool, what does that mean? And I don't even know what the hell that means. I'm going to plug these headphones into this. Let's look at the outside while it boots. The back, glass. If it's not glass, it's a very, very well-shined plastic. And it's too slippery. I've had it on my leg once. It, like, look at it. Look at it. Just, it just... I was going to build, like, a square around it out of blue tack, just so it wouldn't slide off of things, or silicone rubber or something onto the back of it. Uh, this needs a case in the worst way. But then you wouldn't be able to see it, and that's the fucking point. Look at it. Everyone who sees this is going to... First, they're going to say, is that, an, is that a Generation 1 iPod made out of a block of gold? And you're going to have to say no, which is unfortunate. Uh, and you're going to have to explain this is a Quest Style Q... Where is it? Settings? Yeah, I should know the name of it. Hold on. The QP2R. All right? I don't have to know the name of the QP2R. It's the QP2R, which I updated the firmware for today. So now it's at firmware 1.0.4. And it has an internal memory of 64 gigs, and it takes a TF card right there. So the TF2, TF card is there under the bottom. This is a serial number shoved under the bottom. There's your USB-C. Power button, you get this indicator here, which indicates current mode amplification and power of the unit. And it's awesome because it's not a hole. It's like 64 little miniature holes that were drilled through the metal so that the light could come through. So it's just like, that's amazing. You got a volume knob that, I don't want to say it rivals the bass play because we're looking at a very huge price difference and I still like the bass plays more. But I'll explain why I like this one. You got your balance output, you get your three and a half millimeter output, you get your next track, last track, play, pause. That's it. No Android, no Bluetooth at all. Not even to set it to a set of speakers. Every one of these will still, well, except for the, these two are the only one, these have the best volume knobs in the, of the group, and neither one of them has Bluetooth. Is there a pattern emerging? I don't know. Maybe we're all going to go to Tanya's house and find the fuck out. So what am I looking at here? What, what is this thing? Like, I'm going to hit back a bunch of times, and it's going to keep going back, and it's vibrating as I do that. If I could take one feature from all of these units and put it into the perfect portable player. The feature I take from this first and foremost is the fact that it's got an actual vibrator in it. Not that kind of vibrator, but like, you know when you type in your phone and it, go, it just shakes a little bit, you got tactile feedback? Nothing else has tactile feedback. None of these Android devices will, you know, just give you that little bit of like, as you're doing things. And this one will. In fact, it has settings to go high or low. So this is a not a touch wheel. This is an actual rotating wheel because I'm pretty sure Apple still owns the patent for the touch wheel, which is fucking stupid. And then you have the menu, which is, ready? <clears throat> Language, font size, cover, album display, gain, bias, DSD gain, EQ, volume setting, balance, hi-fi hub, analog out volume, hi-fi hub output, 
USB, sleep time, update library, play mode, gapless play, breakpoint play, power on volume, custom power on volume, volume direction, volume lock, brightness, uh, backlight time, lock back and forward key, flip function, touch sensitivity settings, vibration, auto shutdown, format, reset, update firmware, and about. Does that seem like too many menu options? I'm glad you said that, because up here is plus regular. You go in here, and literally you could shut off any of those options from being in the options list. In case that's too many options. God bless you, Questile. Please, somebody make this fucking standard. So I could literally shut off. If I don't need to get to the flip function thing, which uh, flips, I think, pot, like forward and next, it, you don't need it, shut it off. It won't be in the menu anymore. It's a great way to clean up the unit. And by the way, I love the vibration is amazing. So here's basically the home screen. You get playing, category, playlist, browse files, and settings. That's it. So let's go to playing, even though nothing's playing. There's 560 tracks, 201 artists, 157 albums, 69 genres, and seven DSD tracks. Let's go to a DSD track. They came with this unit, by the way. It comes with several DSD samples, which is nice. I think most players should come with, if you can handle DSD, I don't have time to put that shit on. You give it to me. So fasten seatbelts. Hit enter. One bit, 5.6 megahertz DSD. Now, I'm gonna raise the volume. If this was a knob on a unit, I would turn it to the right to turn it up. But I've adjusted that, I've changed it. So now I just swipe right with my thumb to turn it up. And of course it goes to 120 because that makes perfect fucking sense. And then you can finite adjust like this. It's basically the same bullshit, only instead of this, you're doing this. It's still not this, but for the size and domination of this knob, you'd think it'd be like a hard turn. You'd like, like this top is like a knob, fucking knob. But this is a digital knob and it's very, like, like very, like here, look. They have to have this guard around it because as soon as it rubs on anything, it's going to change. And again, no touch screen. And again, no touch screen. There's a pattern of more emerging. Turn it up. This is the worst song I've ever heard, by the way. Just point that out. Like, I don't give a shit if it's DSD, fucking 1 bit, 64, Heaven's Gate, you know, guaranteed input. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Add to, batch process, remove. Get me the fuck out of here, Mr. Wizard. The problem I have with the interface of the quest style is everything looks the same. Every menu looks the same. I don't know where I am. Am I, am I eight layers deep? Am I one layer deep? Is this the play screen? The only thing that tells me what's going on is that I could see the wallpaper or the fucking album art. So I'm, I'm like, okay, back. This, no, that's not what I want. I want back again. All right, tracks, all tracks, only 560. Boom, House of the Rising Sun, which is their inclusion and it's another one bit DSD. Turning it up. I prefer this over this or this. I just prefer this. And keep in mind, I've got it also set. So I'm hitting left, it's making the volume go down. That had to be reversed to do that. Next track, down here, again, vibrating. Every time I hit play, every time I hit next track, the only the volume knob does not make it vibrate. Made in abyss, failed to play, failed to play, failed to play. Oh, because I probably swapped cards and I'm an idiot. All right, it doesn't need to play music to make me do this review. It's a very simple process. Back, stop, stop, kill. I want to I, I wanna make it a touch screen. It's a thousand dollars, it should be a touch screen, but I'm okay with it not being a touch screen. Did it power off? Screen off, screen on, fail to play, fail to play, fail to play. That doesn't matter. This one sounds the best. There's only one other one here that might sound as good, and I... This one sounds the best. I'm gonna say it, the Quest Style is $900. I love Quest Style amplifiers. I love their DAX. Everything they make is amazing. I, it doesn't matter if there's DSD playing on it. They just sound the best. 
Oh, twice is playing. Awesome. About time. Back, back. There's literally nothing else in here. That's it. We've gone through it. It's playing. It's a simple unit. You're either a rich person that wants a simple player or a poor person that wants a simple player. I love both of these. Oh, another thing you can do. One of the options I, I, I'll mention is, you want to turn the volume, I can go all the way up to 120, right? You can set that to only be 60 steps, which means the volume will wax twice as fast. Praise Jesus. Yes, that's what I want. This has so many good ideas on it, but I want Bluetooth. And I know that's like poison for anyone who's an audiophile. It's like, oh, Bluetooth, that's... Bluetooth is shit. You don't want Bluetooth. Yeah, you do. You do. All of these have it. You want it. You miss it. And it's not because you want Bluetooth headphones. It's because every fucking Bose and Sonos and fucking mini rig speaker is Bluetooth. I want to be able to take my music library, which just only has one slot also for $900. And this one has two. And this one has two. And this one has two for much less. And you only have So you get one slot. It needs two. Amplification. Fucking, oh, I have no qualms about when I get a, I had the, the Sony M7s, $900 pair of headphones, plug them straight into this, start making my assessments immediately. There's very few portable things that I will listen to and go, oh, this is as good as anything on my desk, and this will, this will, yes. It actually isn't even that heavy. This is basically going to be the winner, except we have one problem. Okay, um, mild lie. This is going to be now day three. I'm going to talk about this one. Ready? 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 I'm going to cut day two and a half and talk about it in day three where I will wrap things up. So, end of day three. Here we go.